My man's whole life flashing in front of his eyes. <laughs> oh no! Uh, I'm sorry, buddy. The sunlight on this polar bear's breath looks like it's breathing fire. Wait, is it not breathing fire? I could have sworn polar bears do that. Islands. I've always wondered about islands that look like this. How? What is God doing up there on his Windows XP CRT computer? The size difference between newborn and adult sunfish. Holy crap. I still can't fathom how something that starts off that small can grow into something that large and intricate. It's so crazy. Crazy to me. I still don't know how to say. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Quaka? Is it Quaka? I assume. Yes. Y uh, if I'm wrong, I swear to God, it's Google's fault, not mine. Okay. Okay. Quaka confirmed to be the happiest animal in the world. Yeah, we've been over this. They're adorable. I want to give them a big old hug, a little smooch right on the forehead. Tree refuses to die. Instead, it grew four more trees from within. Man, improvise. Adapt. Overcome. Deer running from a flying squirrel as caught on trail camera. <laughs> this is a historical image. This should be put in textbooks. D at random, not for any particular reason. This 67 pound goldfish caught in France. <laughs> Look at it. Damn. Wonder if it tastes good. Giraffes are beautiful. <laughs> Oh my god! All right, they sure are. A magnificent picture of a gray-headed flying fox bat. Ooh. Oh, I'm always gonna be blown away at how people can take photographs like this. The way the fungus has taken on the color of the sweater. Dude, said it before, I'll say it again. Fungi is the most inexplicably incredible and terrifying thing Earth has to offer. Weighing over 400 pounds, this is the heart of a blue whale. It is Insane. Aren't blue whales the largest single animal to have ever lived? Like, e even considering dinosaurs? Or am I freaking insane? Am I crazy? This is how Brussels sprouts grow. Count me actually somewhat interested in that. I had no idea. The reclusive... Jaga, Jagarundi? Jagarundi. Oh, ooh, okay. He's not happy. <laughs> Shizuoka, Japan. Oh my god. Look, there are some places in the world that you shouldn't be allowed to use, like, pictures of in this subreddit. Japan feels like cheating. So does Washington State and Oregon State. The Great Eared Nightjar is pretty much a dragon bird. Uh, uh, yeah, it's actually a dragon bird. What the hell? The Angel Oak on John's Island in South Carolina. Ooh, I hope that tree is doing well. I hate seeing pictures of incredible trees or incredible fauna, knowing that some douchebag out there has probably destroyed it. Females lay an egg mass, and after fertilizing them, the male takes the eggs into his mouth and incubates them for several days or up to several weeks for some species. During this time, he does not eat, and his activities are restricted to juggling the eggs in his mouth to aerate them. What a dedicated dad. That's hats off to him. This kestrel posing for the camera. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Look at the guy. He just looks so nice. Honey badgers eat porcupines and poisonous snakes, raid beehives for honey, kidnap baby cheetahs, and steal food from hungry lions. Well, I think that we've seen an incredible documentarian level video about this. Honey badgers don't give a shit. They don't care. Honey badger don't care, all right? This is the biggest animal you've never heard of. The Takin, the Takin, the Takin, the Takin, lives in high altitude regions of southern China. Bhutan and India. The largest individuals can weigh up to 880 pounds. While they look like some kind of gigagoat, they're actually closely related to sheep. Damn, that is a gigagoat. Sheep or not, goat king. Oh no, it really is the goat king. The kissing rocks in Switzerland. Just a quick mwah. Do you get like a blessing if you pass under these guys? A Kodiak bear. Those are the bariest of bears. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting game bear flashbacks. Frozen lighthouse on Lake Michigan shore. Okay, does someone have to live in there? Ice tree found in I Iceland, really? That's a, whoa. I was gonna make a joke, but then I saw the photograph. Hold How big is this? Because it's amazing. Hmm. Some gray langur and spotted deer have a special relationship to help each other against predators and reach food. Ah, uh, nature. These animals treat each other better than most of us do with each other. The venomous eyelash viper. The eyelash viper? 
Well, count me interested. Leopard hanging out on a tree. <laughs> he looks bored. A wildlife photographer took this picture after accidentally startling an amur and amur tigress's cubs. Hmm, you might need to leave immediately. At just the right angle, this bird hanging on a deer looks like a second head. It actually does, and it's kind of freaking me out. Male alpine I was it ibex on the cliffside. I will never understand how these animals are able to do what they do. It's kind of terrifying. It's like a superpower, man. Tusk of a woolly mammoth, most likely killed by uh, I almost said accident. Ancient hunters, Siberia. Excuse me. Most likely, or was it hit by a passing Amazon drone? These are the questions we need to be asking. Beach in Japan, where snow, sand, and sea meet. What did I just say about Japan? This is cheating. Rare melanistic serval? Oh, oh my gosh. That is the most majestic looking feline I have ever seen. This happened in Mexico, or Colima, Mexico. What? When? This wasn't recently, right? Normally a volcano eruption's pretty big worldwide news. Finally photographed a white-tailed buck mid-jump. He packing. Winter, Minnesota. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. I live in Colorado, and people call it a frozen tundra wasteland, but I don't know. Wisconsin, Michigan, Illinois, they get pretty insane. Curious wild fox caught at the perfect moment. Oh, look at the baby. Monsanto in Portugal is a village made of stones and rocks. The whole place is truly astonishing. Here, most of the homes are built into the rocks. Oh, <laughs> you know, uh, there's something about this that scares me. I think, well, I'd just be afraid of being crushed in the night. You know what I mean? Vietnamese mossy frog. Can they be my friends? The beautiful acellular slime mold found sometimes under snow blankets. Acellular? Holy crap, dude. Glacier National Park, Montana. She's just flying. Clouds near Bighorn Mountains, Wyoming. I feel like I've seen the clouds look like that before when driving through Wyoming. Like, Wyoming gets a bad rap because, like, nine people live there. But let's be real, that place is pretty kick-ass. A newborn python still in its shell. Aw, he's afraid to come out. Just give him a little kiss. The nice colors of this insect. I hate insects. They're my least favorite thing on Earth. Keep them all away from me unless they're... There's like three or four I'm fine with. But the rest of them can stay away. But I have to admit, they are amazing. Night Sky Petunia. What? No, you're lying to me. You're trying to trick me. Hydorna Africana. Wait a minute, is this that corpse flower? The one that when it blooms, it smells like rotting flesh or something horrifying? Or is this just a scary flower? This spider outside my house. What a lovely looking little guy. Oh, very complex spider web. These guys really do put in a lot of effort on these things. It's pretty impressive. If I ever ran into it, I would die. This is a very beefy Kodiak bear. The second largest bear only being dwarfed by the polar bear. I always thought Kodiaks were the bigger ones. I didn't know polar bears were the true giants. But look at this dude. The Blue Dragon River in Portugal. Oh, not what I was expecting. Uh, I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. It looks like someone hand drew this river. Black Rain Frog. Oh, it's this guy. Don't touch him. He's grumpy. If Holly, uh, Ilex aquifolium, finds its leaves are being nibbled by deer, it switches genes on... Wait, it switches genes? to make them spiky when they regrow. So on taller holly trees, the upper leaves, which are out of reach, have smooth edges, while the lower leaves are prickly. Oh my god, that's freaking crazy. These are... I like taking a break from being mad and just being astonished by stuff sometimes, you know? This is a real photo of a male seahorse. Well, he could kick my ass. A tornado in Thomastown, Georgia. Ripped a home off its foundation and put it in the road. Well, at least we know they're not in Kansas. Without nearby rocks or logs, 30 sunbathing turtles chose to rest on this hippo instead. It's a symbiotic relationship, guys. In a rare find, I came across a desiccated... Desiccated horse apple? This is uncommon because they tend to rot or be eaten before this can happen. Oh, well, that's interesting to see. Sawfish, bottom view. The mouth looks too much like a person's mouth. That's freaking scary. Male alligator snapping turtle with me for scale. Whew. Keep your damn limbs away, man. Close up of a scallop's eyes and teeth. Hmm, that makes me uncomfortable. This fox pup practices its hunting skills on a butterfly. Hey, well, leave the poor butterfly alone, dude. Let him be his own person. Mount Rainier casting a shadow across the sky. That is indeed 
I would assume, one of the most famous photographs in the last... I don't know how long ago it was taken, actually, now that I think about it. It's amazing. I've actually gotten to see Mount Rainier while flying past it on a plane, and it's amazing. I mean, I don't say that to try and say, ooh, it's rare and I'm lucky. Like, no, I'm pretty sure it happens all the time. But if you ever get the chance, make sure you take a peek. What if they're just sleeping giants? I'm pretty sure the movie on Netflix, Troll, or is it just Troll? I think it's just Troll, singularly, tackles this. Also, if you're in the mood for an incredible independent film from overseas, check out Troll Hunter. It's one of the best movies I've ever watched. Trees cocooned in spider's webs after flooding in Pakistan. Holy crap, dude. I'm staying away. Duck Surfer! <laughs> I actually have a desktop background where this exact duck is recolored and shopped into the image of the Great Wave. And it's one of my favorite images ever. Tree full of black bears. You see, you don't get to see this very often, but that's them right before they're ripe enough to be picked. A tree tunnel in Quebec. I bet that made a lot of you mad. In Quebec, Canada. Ah, oh, so satisfying. Tree waterfall. <laughs> That one's a little funnier looking. Wolf hugs, aww. Don't, don't, don't treat them like dogs, please. They're not, they'll, they'll get mad. They'll eat you, don't do it.